Bitcoin versus the dollar versus precious metals. Let's go ahead and start with Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. So in order to get Bitcoin, a lot of people build homemade servers and they are a bit cumbersome and really not too many people are going to go ahead and do that. Um, to really scale up, obviously you're going to need millions if not billions of dollars. Multinational companies and governments have these facilities already set up. So at the end of the day, who's really going to control the Bitcoins in the amount Obviously, it's someone with the money. And also, the CIA has already contacted Bitcoin. And as most people, if they haven't heard already, have one of the largest databases that they built in Utah. So, like I said, at the end of the day, who really is going to control this? So let's talk about the dollar and fiat currencies. As you know, our government and most governments can print this at will. And what that will do at some point is it basically throughout history creates what's known as hyperinflation or just devalues the dollar. And it causes runs on the bank and your purchasing power goes down. And history shows this time and time again that the dollar or any currency that a government creates at some point is usually uh, not backed by anything, goes to zero. So understanding that, it's a pretty simple concept that money is pretty worthless. So, precious metals. Now, precious metals, to use an example, I'm going to use the old petrodollar and oil. Because as everyone knows, we all use oil in one capacity or another. Everyone, for the most part, drives. And it is very reliant on using it. So, in 1964, gas was only 21 cents gallon. In 2008, it was two dollars. And five years later, in some parts of the country, it's teetering on almost five dollars a gallon. So those same two dimes, that 20 cents, which was made in 90 percent silver, is now worth four dollars and 15 cents as of sometime in the middle of March of 2013. So which one would you rather have in your hand?